Right, this is my new banjulele made by Alvin Keach. Um, unique to him, he patented them. All of his banjuleles have the patent number written on there and it gives the date afterwards. This one's made in 1924. And on the back there, I don't know whether you can see. There's a number there with a, a letter at the start of it, and the letter denotes the, the model, which will be A, B or C. A was the, the basic one, B was the deluxe, and then C was the deluxe special edition with a few extra bells and whistles. Um, the unique thing about Keach Banjulele is the back. It's got a plate here attached to the drum and then there are there's a second set of tighteners for the drum so there's two different ways to adjust the tension which gives a lot of uh, a lot of scope for uh, playing around um, Petey McKay has been helping me trying to figure out the sort of bridge placement and, and, and height because when it came it, it didn't come with the original bridge and they just slotted in a, a standard very ugly looking um, standard half inch one so I've been trying to get it to a level where it can uh, where I can where it plays nice before I start fiddling around um, he signed all of his ukuleles as well his name etched in on there which I think is a nice Nice sort of feature of it. I'm pretty happy. Cost 90, 100 quid delivered, give or take, which is pretty good. Um, of the ones that I've seen on YouTube, it's not the prettiest. It's a bit, you know, someone's varnished it with a spoon by the look of it, but um, I'm happy enough with it. It's nice. to hold that really really heavy Anyway, it's that. Keech Banjulele.